What if everything we knew about energy was wrong? December 14, 1900. Max Planck was about to fix physics by breaking it. For decades, a problem called the ultraviolet catastrophe had physicists stumped. The math said a hot object, like a light bulb filament, should blast out infinite energy in a deadly ultraviolet beam. Obviously, that's not what happens. Planck, a conservative professor, had tried everything. He worked backwards and found a formula that perfectly matched experiments. But to derive it, he had to make a move that felt like cheating. He took an idea from a theory he disliked. He proposed that the atoms in the hot object couldn't vibrate with just any energy. They could only use specific, discrete packets. He called them quanta. This was it. Energy wasn't a smooth, continuous wave. It came in tiny, indivisible pieces. The size of each piece was set by a new number in his equation, Planck's constant. This single idea solved the catastrophe instantly. Here's the crazy part Planck didn't believe it. He saw it as a mathematical trick. He spent years trying to walk it back. But the genie was out of the bottle. Five years later, a young Albert Einstein took Planck's trick seriously, applying it to light itself. That was the spark. Today, the entire quantum revolution, every semiconductor, laser, and computer chip in your phone all traces back to Planck's reluctant, desperate calculation on a December day in 1900. Follow it on this day in science for more real science that shaped our world.